Hello, elementary school students across America and on United States military bases around the world. It's Michael T. Mondak back with you on a Friday to read one picture book to you, your parents, and your teachers, just like I've been doing the past many weeks. I always begin with a teaser as to what I'll be reading. Here's that teaser for today. Some of my friends have saved my days with balloons when I get down. Conversely, I have assisted my friends when they needed help with tasks and sometimes give them balloons. James the Red Engine once derailed and Thomas saved the day and assisted him, leading to a reward of his own branch line. It's the Reverend Wilbert Aldrich storyline of a story titled Thomas Saves the Day. Here we go. Every day Sir Topham Hatt came to the station to catch his train. Hello, he always said to Thomas. Don't let the silly trade cars tease you. Remember, you have an important job as a special helper in the train yard. There were lots of freight cars, and Thomas worked very hard pushing and pulling them into place. There was also a small coach and two strange things his driver called cr cranes. That's the breakdown train, he told Thomas. The cranes are for lifting heavy things like engines and coaches and freight cars. One day, Thomas was in the yard. Suddenly, he heard an engine whistling. Help! Help! A freight train came rushing through much too fast. The engine was James, and he was frightened. His brake blocks were on fire. They're pushing me! They're pushing me! He panted. On! On! laughed the freight cars. Still whistling, help, help. Poor James disappeared. I'd like to teach those freight cars a lesson, said Thomas the tank engine. Soon came the alarm. James is off the line. The breakdown train, quickly. Thomas was coupled on and off they went. Thomas worked his hardest. Hurry, hurry. Hurry, he puffed. He wasn't pretending to be like Gordon. He really meant it. Bother those freight cars and their tricks. I hope poor James isn't hurt. James's driver and fireman were feeling him all over to see if he was hurt. Never mind, James, they said. It was those silly freight cars and your old wooden brakes that caused the accident. Thomas pushed the breakdown train alongside. Then he pulled away the unhurt freight cars. Oh dear, oh dear, they groaned. Serves you right. Serves you right, puffed Thomas. He was hard at work puffing backwards and forwards all afternoon. This'll teach you a lesson. This'll teach you a lesson, he told the freight cars. And he answered, yes, it will. Yes, it will. They left the broken cars, and then with two cranes, they put James back on the rails. He tried to move, but he couldn't, so Thomas helped him back to the shed. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting anxiously for them. Well, Thomas, he said, heard all about it, and I'm very pleased with you. You are a really useful engine. James shall have some proper brakes and a new coat of paint, and you shall have a branch line all to yourself. Oh, thank you, sir, said Thomas. And now Thomas is half as happy as can be. He has a branch line and two coaches called Annie and Clatterbell. He puffs proudly backward and forward with them all day. He is never alone. Edward and Henry stop quite often to tell him the news. Gordon is always in a hurry, but never free to say boop, boop, and Thomas always whistles beep, beep in return. And that, boys and girls, ends the story. Enjoy the weekend. See you back here Monday, same time, same channel.